Well, what's going on, guys? Dr. Nathan Thompson here with the Zen Flight Health Center, a Wellness Way affiliate. Welcome to our uh, Facebook Live. It is Wednesday at 12 o'clock noon. And uh, if you read the description of this particular live that I want to talk about, it's going to ruffle a couple of feathers, probably. And the whole idea is why you have to be very careful, why you have to be very careful when giving medications to children under one years of age. And I'm going to show you actually why that is and why that's, that is so important, the science behind it, but ultimately why we should not be having children take medications at all or how we can get them to the point where they don't actually need medications. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this uh, coming up in our Exemplify Healthy Families Facebook group, where we're going to talk about all these different questions that parents have about children when it comes to antibiotics, when it comes to medications, when it comes to ear infections, fevers, when it comes to how to increase their immune system. A lot of questions regarding vaccines. Yes, we're going to answer those questions uh, at that event. And so um, I'm going to make sure that before we're done here, read the description because I have a link that you can actually ask to join that group. Uh, and that's where we're going to be going over at that event coming up in a couple of weeks. If you're jumping on right now, go ahead and say hello. Give me a wave. Let me know where you're um, listening from. I always like to hear uh, where people are listening from or people are watching. And uh, make sure that you share this, especially especially if you have, um, you know, people who have young kids or grandkids. Because I'm going to show you the science behind why you need to be so careful when it comes to giving children medications and the reason why, and also why it also has to do with problems specifically with hormones later on in life. All right. How you doing, Connie? So here's the thing. Let's talk about medications and things like this. So remember this, and most of you guys actually probably know this, or you have maybe a basic understanding of this, is what organ is responsible for the clearance of toxins and the the uh, the meta uh, metabolism of medications. And most people know that when you say it, it's going to be the liver. So the liver is responsible for um, a lot of different functions. This is why liver health is actually so important. Uh, liver health is responsible for clearing out toxins. It's responsible for eliminating um, hormones like your estrogens, for example. Uh, it's also responsible for what's known as biotransformation of your hormones, um, which means of, you know, hormones going into uh, one hormone pathway, going into a different hormone pathway in order for all of those conversions to take place. This is why that if someone has a problem, a thyroid issue, or someone has a problem with your estrogens, progesterone, things like that, and you measure these on specific tests, you can actually see if this is a liver pathway issue. Now, the other thing too is also has to do with the gastrointestinal system. So the gut, the colon, the small intestine. So those things too are very important. Uh, and they also have the ability to clear and remove toxins. So why this one year of age? Why is this? Well, I'll, I'm going to show you an article. This is really important. And I'm going to bring it up right now. And what you're going to say here is drug metabolism, it's called. And they talk about the importance of what's known as cytochrome P450, specifically what's known as 3A4. A lot of big letters, but what I want you to understand is, is that within your liver, um, in specifically in your liver cells and a little bit in your gastrointestinal cells, you have these enzymes called your cytochrome P450. And then all these different types of ones, you'll see with these numbers after that. So these are enzymes that are designed for drug metabolism. So being able to take a drug and be able to clear it out of the body. And here's what's interesting. So when you look at this, here's what the key message from this article is, is CYP3A4 is responsible for the metabolism of more than 50% of medicines. So the ability to, to effectively clear those medications out of your system, CYP3A4 is actively is absent, now watch this, in newborns, but reaches adult levels at around one year of age. The liver and small intestine have the highest activity. And also there's inhibitors that will actually cause this process to slow down 
or will decrease the ability of you to be able to properly clear metabolized drugs. And these right here are actually antibiotics. And there's actually things that can actually speed up the process of, of getting things out. For example, St. John's wort. So when you look at this, I want you to understand that Number one, it doesn't even reach adult levels to be able to clear out medications until one year of age. And also it's responsible for metabolism of more than 50% of medications. So I want you to think about that right now. This one enzyme is responsible for clearing out over 50% of your medications and that those levels to be able to clear out specific medications isn't even matured and developed until at a minimum age of one year of age. So let me ask you a question. If you don't have the ability to be able to clear these out, so people who have these healthy pathways can clear these medications out rather quickly, not saying that they're good for you, because remember, every medication will inhibit other pathways. But some people actually have the ability to clear this out very quickly this is why uh, when people take St. John's wort, for example, um, this is why you should never ever take St. John's wort if you're taking particular antidepressants and things like that because it will cause the drug to be, to be metabolized really, really quickly. So, but antibiotics and things like that are things that will actually inhibit and slow down this process. So let me ask you a question. This is why when your child has a fever, do you give them Tylenol, which is acetaminophen and is a fever reducer, but your child doesn't have the ability to be able to clear out that medication? This is why acute liver toxicity happens so often in kids under one year of age, and the leading cause of that is actually acetaminophen. How many times before one year of age are our children giving antibiotics, yet they don't have the ability to be able to clear that out and how many times too are we actually putting other toxins within their system that the body has the ability to be able to clear those things out because they don't even have the adult levels ability to be able to clear out medications that's responsible for 50% of all medicines before the age of one. Wow. Now, what's interesting about this specific uh, uh, cytochrome P453A4 is that it also plays a role in estrogen metabolism as well. So when you're looking at specific tests like Dutch tests, for example, you will actually see uh, that if this pathway is stimulated or inhibited, and when that happens, you can see a very high buildup of estradiol. Um, so, which is really, really important. You don't want a toxic buildup of that hormone. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. This is just one of the things that we're going to be going over, uh, coming up at our, uh, healthy families talk that we're going to do within our Facebook page, um, in our exemplify healthy families, Facebook group, uh, Saturday, October, I want to say seventh, it's right around there but we're gonna be doing that live on Saturday morning at nine o'clock, nine, uh, nine o'clock, no replay, live only, only within that group. And we are going to ask them to answer some of those pressing questions that parents have when it comes to their kids, all the way from birth, all the way up to 16, 17, 18 years of age. Because a lot of times I get the, the question, Dr. Nate, what do you do for X? Or what do you do for Y? Or what do you do for Z? And I always say, instead of me answering all those different questions, let me give you the big picture. Let me give you the big idea, because if you can understand the big idea, you will be the one who can answer your own questions. So I left the link in the description uh, below. All you have to do is ask to join the group, and then one of my staff will approve that, and then you'll see the event make sure you just go ahead and say interested or going. So you'll get a reminder for that event on Saturday, uh, December 7th, 9 a.m. for that live video. Again, it's gonna be live. There will be no replay, so you're gonna have to watch it. But the great thing is, is you can watch it from the comfort of your home. You don't actually have to be here for that event. So just remember this, is that one years of age, they don't, until they reach one, they don't have the ability to be able to metabolize drugs properly 
And number two, antibiotics will inhibit this process even after one year of age. So this is why we have today, one of the reasons why we have so many kids. Hey, if you're watching this, make sure that you like it. Please share this with other mothers so that they're informed and that they know about this as well. And then make sure you join our group uh, because we'll be having that talk coming up December 7th and going into a lot more detail. So guys, have a great Wednesday. Be blessed and we will talk to you soon.